Randy. Randy represents uh, Strata Glass, the actual manufacturer of Strata Glass. I'm at the Port Lauderdale International Boat Show. And I thought I'd talk about, or ask Randy some questions about Strata Glass and how to look after it, care and maintenance, because there's so many misconceptions. So Randy, behind us we have a pane of Southern Strata Glass. Yeah. Very bare ice basic. What would you need to do when you come back for a trip out on your boat to maintain that Strata Glass? The best thing you can do, rinse the salt off of it. Make sure that all the contaminants are all off of it. Then hit it with the IMAR cleaner to make sure that any contact with suntan lotion or any other contaminants on the surface are taken off, especially some suntan lotion because that's a contaminant we don't like. All right, so you've got the kids on, but you're going out for the day, you've just lathered up with sunscreen as I yes. have. And very common. The kids have too. Our kids, can you roll up the front here? They put sunscreen all over it. You don't notice it until you get back at the end of the day. What's the quickest and best thing you can do to save that? As soon as you notice it, or at the end of the day, just as preventative maintenance, spray and wipe. The IMAR cleaner. Oh, IMAR spray and wipe? Yeah. Yep. Spray okay. and wipe. It'll take um, surface stuff off, but if it's it's already permeated into the vinyl, it's going to be permeated. Okay. So there's a lesson. Get sunscreen on there, get it off straight away, use the IMAR products to, to, to clean it. If you leave it there for more than 24 hours, it's there for life, and then you can just kill your brand new clears, your brand, awesome. brand new strata belts. So the other thing is zips. So a lot of people say to me, you talk to different trimmers, they say use Mr. Sheen, which you probably don't know what, what Mr. Sheen that. is, or they say use silicon on the zips. I'm always worried about silicon or Mr. Sheen going on the clears. What's the product that you guys recommend? Uh, we don't like silicon uh, just because it doesn't interact well with uh, vinyl. Okay, so uh, silicon, no silicon on the clears. It's like uh, the Rain-X here in the States. A lot of people like putting Rain-X on their windows so the, yeah. the, the water will sheen off of it. That's the little yellow bottles you get from Rain-X? Yeah, so and it, what it does well. is it distorts the, your vision. So yep. putting okay. that on the surface, things just don't look right. Yep. So uh, stay away from the silicon. Uh, they have a product called Zippy Cool Loop that I really, really like. I don't know if you guys have it. I'm going to look it up. Zippy Cool Loop. Yep, it, it looks like a little chapstick. Along the edges. They also have a liquid with a black hair brush on the top. Okay. It's much easier to apply and it seems to be even more effective. Uh, that's my personal favorite. There's the IOSO products, there's a lot of zipper products out there. Just stay away from them. And eat, eat in, uh, some of my fabricators like running a, a candle in one. Candle? Candle yeah. wax? Yeah. Okay. But uh, just stay away from them. So. Right. so, in short, the best way. Oh, look, there's a the thing too. When you, when you have your big you cut out like this and you roll it up, you put the straps around it. Yep. The straps rub, the salt rubs. They do. Is there any way of protecting that, stopping the, the strap um, from rubbing on the clear? It's And that will chafe it, the chafing is permanent. Uh, what I like to do and what our shop used to do is on the inside of the straps, we put in a, a product called uh, Evolution, which is also called Matrix. It's the gray uh, quilted car cover material. Okay. Very, very soft, very, very inexpensive. It holds up very, very well. So if you line this, it's going to minimize the chafing. The uh, chafing is kind of a, a fact of life because you're on the way, you're moving, the boat is vibrating, vibrating against the where you're holding it with the straps, and it's just kind of it's going to move. So what I've seen some other some trimmers do lately is instead of rolling the clears up, I'll put some little clips here and I'll pin it back. Very common, especially with uh, your harder glasses, your macrons, uh, polycarbonates, and your uh, your acrylics. Pin them up because they don't roll. Uh, yeah. Works fine with Stratoglass also because now you're not adding the, the wrinkles in there. The wrinkles are temporary, yeah. but you're, you're wrinkling because you're rolling it. Pinning it up, you don't have the problem. Yeah, and every time you grab it, there's a risk of sunscreen on there. There's a risk of chafing. You know, sunscreen is a fact of life. If you're out on the boat, you need to protect yourself. Yeah. But doesn't do well with vinyls. Your seating vinyls, your, your clear vinyls, it's not just us. Uh, you'll notice white seeds have, uh, after a while, they get yellow stains. They do. It's, it's, it's so the trick is, if you blend that up with sunscreen, put your white gloves on before you touch the clears. <laughs> <laughs> or clean your hands. Wash <laughs> yeah. your hands. Uh, yeah. The most important thing you can do for strata glass is take care of it. And the most important product you can use is that little purple bottle over there, the polish. Polish? Uh, okay. Deep cleans, it protects, it leaves a protective barrier on the top. So you want to protect it before it's broken rather than after it's broken. Once it's broken, yeah. there's okay. a lot of people say they can restore vinyl. You really can't. 
once it's broken, it's broken. Okay, so, so from, the, from the very outset, when you've got your clears on your boat, brand new boat, second hand boat with new clears, start maintaining it with the strata gloves, it's endorsed by, sorry, the IMAR. start maintaining it with the IMAR product, which is endorsed by strata glass, the factory. It's the only product that... And there's a reason for that. Um, if you go into any marine store, there's a myriad of, of products on the shelf. And uh, half of them are going to say, plastic cleaner, safe with strata glass. We've never tested it. Okay. Uh, we didn't go to a marine store and pull down a product and say, this is now the strata glass cleaner. The people from Mymar came to Stratagas. They worked with our chemists, their chemists worked with ours with the coating, and they built this whole thing around our coating. So it was built from the ground up as a Stratagas cleaner and polish, and there's nothing else like it. So that's why we totally endorse that only. Uh, there's other products that work. There's other products that say they do work and they do damage. Uh, we've, got, we've got a list of uh, do not use this on our website. Uh, even though they say safe on Stratagas, we found otherwise. Okay, so. The alternative, no, not the alternative, but if you want more information, straight to the Strata Glass website. Strata Glass website, website we've got as much as we, we can put up there. There's clear and, uh, care and maintenance on there. Uh, the phone number is on there. Any care questions usually gets forwarded to me anyways. So if I'm out of the shop, because I do travel a lot, they will give you my cell phone number or my email, and I can get back to you. Okay. All right. There you have it. Straight from the top, straight from the guru from Strata Glass. In, uh, where, where are you based? Where are right you? here in Fort Lauderdale. So it's manufactured in? It, it's all U.S. made. Uh, okay. The material's made in the U.S., we press it in the U.S., it's all U.S. Excellent. Randy, thanks very thanks. much for that. Right. Hopefully my viewers will uh, enjoy that and get some value out of it. Maintain their boats better. And I'm just glad that they're getting the right information. You know, so Straight there's, to the top. There's, a, there's a lot of experts out there that get the wrong stuff. So.